Hi hey everybody, it's your girl Wandika, originally from Jamaica. And yes, I know my hair is different, and me same one. Today I wanted to do a watercolor demonstration. And for the first time, I'll be using watercolor markers. Now, as you know, I have been painting for many years, but I've never come across watercolor markers. I've used watercolor pencils. I've used watercolor crayons. I don't know if it's a new thing or I'm just not aware of what's going on, but I just came across them in Michael's the other day and I said I have to try them out and I have to share with you my results. Will I like them? We'll see. So let's get started. my verdict all right here are a few things that I didn't like so much about it all 
and here are some things that I really liked. I think that this will work best for somebody who already enjoys using markers as their major medium. It still feels like you're doing marker work, but it's just a surprise twist when you're adding the water. And I did it two ways where I put it down on paper first and then I used a brush and then I just put the brush end in the water. I don't know if that was the intended use. And both ways I saw, you know, worked. The latter way where I just put the brush in the water worked a lot more um, because then when I put down the, the color on paper and then use the brush, it was a lot more resistant to change and to um, spreading color. So thanks so much for watching. Make sure you go to my website. I'm on Facebook and I'm on Twitter. Subscribe to this channel. Thumbs up this video. Share it with your friends. You know the drill. Leave me a comment. Have you ever used them? What has been your experience? Would you like to use them? Let me know. And until next time, walk good. If I ever get the chance to go back home next summer, these are coming with me to the beach.